25 years ago, I was working at my dad's machine shop and we had gotten some high volume orders for a customer that made various devices for law enforcement. Most of the parts were plastic and some of the orders were for thousands of parts. So my dad ordered the material and we got to work pumping out parts. There were only two of us running the production on three mills and two lathes and we were running so quick that we actually had to take parts home to deburr as all day we were busy swapping material in and out of the machines. When we were about done with all of these orders, we got word that our customer had shut down and declared bankruptcy. That meant that not only were we not going to get paid for the 10 grand in raw material, but we were also not going to get paid for the several weeks of labor and machine time. For a small business, hits like these can be crippling. For another customer, we ordered $20,000 in tooling for a job that a buyer swore was coming our way, and then we never received the order. And some of these tools were very part specific like odd diameter boring heads. Once again, we had spent money we didn't have on tools that we now couldn't use. When you're running a small business, payroll can be hard enough to make consistently. But when you don't manage risk properly, you can end up going out of business in a very short time period. So what should we have done differently so that these situations didn't hurt quite as bad as they did? When it comes to raw material, a lot of customers will expect you to buy it yourself after receiving an order. However, Titan mentioned a couple ways to change that part of your relationship with your customer. One thing you can do is give your customer two prices on your quote. A price for a part if you buy the material, and then a much lower price per part if they buy the material. If they go for the lower price, both parties win because they're getting the same product for less money, and you aren't tying up thousands of dollars in raw material that you could end up having to eat if the customer, say, goes bankrupt. Titan talked about how important it is to sink your roots into your customer, and part of that is offering them the best possible pricing and quality so that other shops just can't compete with you. By incentivizing the material purchased by the customer, you are also mitigating the risk of your customer buying their parts from anyone else. When it comes to cutting tools and fixtures, programming time and engineering related tasks, NRE charges are your friend. NRE stands for non-recurring engineering. This is a one-time fee for a part number that allows you to tool up for a job in an efficient manner. By making the NRE charge payable upon contract acceptance, there is no risk to your company if the customer decides to cancel the order or changes the design of a part. Sometimes these methods just won't work for your customer. In those cases, you have to assume that what can go wrong will go wrong. And based upon your relationship and history with your customer, you should have a pretty good idea of how risky it is to put money out there for the promise that they'll pay later. Unfortunately, there will be times where you end up losing these bets despite everyone involved having the best intentions. And sometimes you can win pretty big just by marking up the material price. So in the end, you just have to know your customer and know your business. Another risk that machine shops have to worry about is machine downtime. Sometimes you can get so busy that preventative maintenance gets put on the back burner and then boom, your machine ends up with a catastrophic failure and is down for weeks waiting on parts and service. And all of that could have been avoided if you had spent five minutes here and there pumping grease and cleaning. A machine shop without machines is pretty useless. Employees are another risk. People quit, get hurt, get sick, call in, go on vacation, have bad days, make mistakes, all kinds of inconvenient stuff for a business. Skilled and talented people are something that can make a business really successful, but people can also bring a company to its knees. You have to be really careful not to let single point failures exist when it comes to human resources. How many times have you seen a job stall out because Jimmy is the only one who knows how to run that machine and Jimmy's in the hospital? Cross training is super important and there should always be at least two people that know a particular process. That way your team is ready for any unforeseen circumstances that result in missing bodies. Now scrap is something else that can be very problematic. I think most of us have seen thousands of dollars worth of scrap. I know I've personally seen millions of dollars in scrap. Sometimes in just one part, millions of dollars went down the drain. This is why the quality process is so critical. Spot checks, peer inspection, first articles, control plans, and documentation are all there to help make sure that you don't turn raw material into dumpster ornaments. Quality is something that you can't risk under any circumstances. Poor quality doesn't just hurt your bank account, it hurts your reputation as well. And in machining, the quality of your parts is what gets you future work or no new work at all. Titan's spoken to this quite a bit as well, how if a part was one tenth out of tolerance, it was thrown out, no exceptions, no asking the customer if it was good enough. As a machinist, making perfect parts with beautiful finishes should be a matter of 
pride. Take the steps to really understand the risks that you face on a day-to-day basis and the impact that a worst case scenario could have on your shop. If a particular risk could mean the end for you, figure out ways to ensure that your business thrives rather than dies. Sometimes it's as simple as changing terms on a quote. Other times it takes careful planning and months of strategy. Hope this helps the way you approach jobs in the future. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon.